Hello Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading. So Sag and Aries and Leo, today we are going to look into your person's overall energy and see how they're currently feeling about you. I have linked the timestamps in the description box down below. So all you have to do is hit the description box and you'll see the timestamps linked down below, as well as my second YouTube channel called Milagros Tarot Plus. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am releasing additional tarot card readings on my second YouTube channel. So for those of you who do want to receive additional tarot card readings from me, definitely subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Milagros Tarot Plus. Again, it's in the description box down below, but hopefully your reading today helps you. Hopefully it resonates with you and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello Sagittarius, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Sag, let's see this person's current feelings for you. What is this person's current feelings for Sagittarius? Summon rising and Venus. Mm. There's an energy of denial. Yeah, there's an energy of denial attached to um, this person. It kind of looks like things unfortunately came to an end here between you and this person, but there's this energy of denial attached to this person. You know, even though it looks like it's over. And it feels like it's over to this person. They tend to kind of question, but is it really over though? Like, is it really, really over? Like, are we really, really done this time? Or are we going to eventually like reconcile with one another and get back together? I feel like that's what they're hoping for is a reconciliation to occur here between the two of you. But currently at the moment, it kind of looks like this reconciliation hasn't happened just yet uh, between you and this person. But that's definitely something that this person's hoping for. That, that's one thing that I will say. But yeah, let's look a little bit more into this person's energy. So I am more about the Ten of Swords. Oh, man. You know what's interesting is that I... I, I kind of feel like um, when this, all right, well, that's interesting. I kind of feel like when this relationship came to an end between the two of you, they kind of acted as if they could honestly care less is kind of what I'm getting off of their energy. Now, it's pretty obvious, right, that this person cares a whole lot about this ending here. But I feel like the moment this relationship came to an end, you know, they may have given you the impression that they honestly didn't really care about this relationship coming to an end or about this marriage coming to an end. I just kind of feel like they kind of portrayed this image like, oh, all right, whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to move on with my life. I can care less. Like, it has that type of feel to it. But in all actuality, they actually care a whole lot is kind of what I'm getting. They actually care a whole lot. But they may have made it seem to you like they can honestly care less um, about losing you and this relationship that they once upon a time had here with you. But they care a whole lot. Tell me more about the nine of swords. <clears throat> Come on. Okay. Okay. We have the two of wands. We have the moon. And then we also have the seven of wands. Mm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the ten of swords. Yeah, to the two of swords. And oh, look at what we have here. The king of pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the uh, queen of pentacles over here. So it is a true pair situation here between you and this person. Yeah, I keep getting that. It's like the moment this relationship came to an end here between the two of you. Um, it's like this person just decided to kind of throw their hands up like, you know what, screw this. I'm not going to fight for this. I'm not even going to bother with this entire situation anymore. But it's interesting because deep down inside, they basically view you and this relationship that they once upon a time had with you as something worth fighting for. It just kind of looks like when they had the opportunity to actually fight for you and this relationship that they once upon a time had here with you, they chose not to. It's like they chose to allow you to walk right out of their life is kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like at times they tend to kind of reflect on this ending in this moment that happened here between the two of you. Like, why didn't I fight, you know, for this relationship? Why did I just let them walk out of my life? You know, things like that. It's interesting because I don't feel like this person put up a fight. Mm -mm. I re No, I really don't feel like this person put up a fight. It's like this person just let you walk right out of their life like nothing. Like you didn't basically matter to them. Now, you matter a whole lot to them. I want to make that very clear. I just kind of feel like they projected, you know, this image like, oh, I don't really care. Sad. You want to walk out of my life? Well, there's a door. You know what I mean? Um, 
like I said, I kind of feel like they tend to kind of reflect back on this this moment that happened here between the two of you, kind of questioning themselves a little bit, like, damn, like why didn't I why didn't I stop them from walking out of my life? Let's look at the temperance card. Actually, no. Let's look at you. I want to look at you. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> goes the queen of pentacles there goes the queen of pentacles again man mm. a lot of you didn't feel valued or appreciated uh by this person i feel like your involvement with this person really did um shook up your confidence i'm definitely getting that like throughout the course of your relationship with this person you could have felt like you weren't good enough uh you could have felt really insecure being in this relationship uh with this person that could have been due to the stuff that this person was putting you through yeah i just uh, i just kind of feel like right now right now um revisiting this connection between you and this person is just not something that i currently see you doing now granted there's a possibility right that later on down the line you might decide to revisit this connection here between you and this person but as of right now i just don't see you wanting to do all of that i just don't for some of you you could very well be constantly reminding yourself of all the stuff that this person has put you through and that could very well be um helping you to not revisit this connection here between you and this person because i am definitely definitely getting that I am definitely getting that you know it's interesting too I kind of feel like prior to you meeting this person you were somebody who was very confident within yourself and again it's like the moment that you got with this person I keep getting that for you Saggy it's like they really did like shake up your confidence they really did shake up your confidence to the point where you started to kind of feel like you weren't good enough um you know things like that Let's look at temperance now. So I remember about temperance. Like I said, I mean, they do want a reconciliation here with you. They definitely do want a reconciliation here with you. They definitely do want to extend themselves to you and apologize to you for whatever it is that they said and or did but i kind of feel like they feel like this is how you're going to respond and react to them they feel like you're going to uh reject them they feel like you're going to reject them and not accept them back in your life they also kind of feel like you're not going to even accept their apology they also kind of feel like you don't even really care for what they have to say i'm also kind of getting that as well now, it's not to say that this is what's going to happen, but, you know, this is what they think is going to basically happen here if they were to extend themselves to you. Um, I guess let's see the outcome here, I guess, between you and this person. What's the outcome here between Saji and this person? Okay, there goes that King of Pentacles again. Uh, we have the uh, King of Pentacles to the Eight of Swords, and then we have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands represents somebody who's on the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. Um, Saggy, it looks like you're going to be receiving communication here from this person. I feel like this person has been waiting for you um, to actually reach out to them, which is kind of strange to me. I I'm not entirely sure why they would... I don't know. I don't, I'm not entirely sure why they would think that you would um, reach out to them. I'm not entirely sure why they would think that, um, but I kind of feel like they were just kind of sitting around waiting for you to reach out to them, and it kind of looks like you haven't actually reached out to them just yet, um, and you may not plan on doing it, because I was kind of getting that vibe off of you anyways. Like, I just don't see you revisiting this connection right now. If anything, I see you trying to rebuild yourself back up. You know what I mean? Um, that's kind of what I'm getting, but anyways, um, it looks like you're going to be receiving communication here from this person you might take a while i'm kind of getting that you might take a while to respond back to this person and dude like i said there's a huge possibility that you may not even return this person's phone calls or text messages but i am kind of getting i am kind of getting that that when this person does reach out to you you're going to take a very long time to text them back. You might take a whole freaking day or a whole freaking week, but I see you taking like a very long time um, to text this person back. Yeah, I am kind of getting that. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that. I am kind of getting that. 
I kind of feel like this person, like I said, is a little slightly worried about how you're going to respond and react uh, to them reaching out to you. But let's look at the Eight of Swords. There goes the Eight of Swords again. Yeah, okay, so mm, we have the uh, Eight of Swords. Uh, mm -hmm. We got the Five of Swords, and then we also have the Six of Cups. Saji, um... With the Eight of Swords coming out here for this person yet again, and the uh, Five of Swords, the Eight to the Five creates a Three of Swords at play. Um, I feel like this person is kind of worried, like I said, that you may not want anything to do with them due to whatever happened here between the two of you in the past that caused like a really big fight slash ending between you and them. Um, they're really worried that you may not want anything to do with them. That you may not want anything to do with them. I'm kind of curious to see how you're going to respond and react to this. I, I feel like you're going to take a very long time. I keep getting that. Like a very long time to text them back. And I kind of feel like that's going to kind of drive them a little insane. That you're taking like a very, very long time to text them back. It's going to kind of drive them insane. It's going to cause their mind to kind of wander just a little bit. Like what does this mean? Does this mean that like they're done with me? Like does this mean that they moved on with their life? Like this is, is this why like they're not texting me right now? Um, are they with somebody else right now? And that's why they're not texting me? You know, all of that jazz. Tell me more about the, um, not tell me more. Let me rewind. Hold on. Sorry. How is Sagittarius going to respond or react to this communication? I don't feel like you're going to be, um, I don't feel like you're going to be shocked or surprised, uh, to receive communication here from this person. You know, in fact, a lot of you feel all of this coming. Then again, you are a Sagittarius. You guys are the intuitive fire sign. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? You're going to feel all of this coming before it even happens is kind of what I'm getting. But when you do receive communication here from this person, you know, one thing that I absolutely freaking love about you, Sag, is that you go from, oh, sorry, <laughs> you go from the five of pentacles slash nine of wands to the nine of cups to the seven of pentacles. That's very nice because throughout the course of this separation here between you and this person you've been extremely busy with rebuilding yourself back up so when this person does reach out to you dude you're gonna find yourself in a much better place financially speaking emotionally speaking spiritually speaking mentally speaking like you're gonna find yourself in a much better freaking place i absolutely love it sag you know, I, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it because you had the choice to just roll over and just be like, that's it. I give up. You know, like there is no coming back from this. But no, like I feel like you got right back up on your feet and you started focusing on yourself and on your growth and, um, you know, practicing a whole lot of self-love, things of that nature. I love it, Sag. I'm really proud of you. If nobody's told you this, I will say I'm very, very proud of you. You've definitely progressed a lot um, and changed a lot since this ending occurred here between the uh, two of you. That That's one thing that I will say. You've changed a lot. You've definitely changed a lot. I'm really proud of you, Sag. I'm really proud of you. It takes a lot of strength and it takes a lot of willpower to do what you did. So you should be very freaking proud of yourself. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. What was I, what was I doing? Oh, um, I'm like, I got... Sorry, I got caught off guard by, you know, how you were actually showing up. Really proud of you, though. Um, but in regards to how you're going to respond and react, sorry, um, I got off topic. But in regards to how you're going to respond and react to um, this person, it doesn't look like you're going to actually respond back to this person. I was thinking, all oh, right, you're probably just going to take like a day to respond back to them or like maybe a week or something like that. But it doesn't even look like you're going to respond to them there's something about you feeling really good though about receiving communication here from this person and it could have a lot to do with something uh that they're communicating to you but there's something about you feeling empowered um and, f and feeling pretty damn good about receiving communication here from this person and it could be it could have a lot to do with what this person is basically telling you that's a possibility but as far as you texting them back calling them back emailing them back i just I just don't see that actually happening. I don't. The bottom of the deck, we do have the tower. We also have the uh, five of cups with the two of wands. Jesus Christ. And then we have the hierophant. 
Hmm. I don't feel like this is you, though. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is them. You know, let me move this real quick. <sighs> kind of looks like this person. You know, I feel like this person has really been going through it since this ending occurred here between the two of you not only but then it makes sense as to why they're showing up in this way they are showing up as a masculine energy regardless of their gender male or female doesn't matter masculine energies are very big on um are very big on doing this right like projecting this image like no i'm fine everything's okay with me when deep down inside they're hurting masculine energies are just known for showing up in this way so i'm not totally surprised by it but you know, it's interesting because I kind of feel like um, it's one of those situations for this king anyways, where it's like, you know, it's very easy to like lie to the world, but it's not easy to lie to yourself is kind of what I'm getting. Um, so I feel like this person says this ending occurred here between the two of you. They've definitely been lying to people around them like, oh, sad Psh, over them. I like I, I will never in my life get back with sad. Like I am so over them. I'm happy it's over. I'm going to do me. I'm going to be out here living my freaking best life. They could very well be drinking excessively because I'm also kind of getting that. Um, if they're not drinking excessively, they could very well be indulging in something that helps them numb the pain. Insert here what that could possibly be. I don't know. Uh, the only thing that I actually got was just drinking excessively um, to, you know, try to numb the pain here. But it's interesting because I feel like I feel like they're really good at lying to the world. They're just not really good at lying to themselves. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like this person deep down inside. Right. They've 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 really been going through it. They've really been going through it. You know, I feel like this person really does want to fix and repair things here between the two of you, but they kind of feel like uh, the damage is done, you know? They kind of feel like the damage is done and there's nothing that they can honestly do. I want to look at the hair font and then we'll wrap this up. I know that this is a long reading. I am so sorry. I know you have things to do, but I'm kind of curious as to why we're getting this energy here for them because this to me kind of feels like them gravitating towards somebody for advice when it comes down to their current situation here with you um so they could be gravitating towards a family member possibly a friend whoever this person is that they're gravitating towards um it's somebody that they trust that's one thing that i will say it's somebody who does have a lot of life experience that's another thing uh tell me more about the pair of fonts They could be confiding in a therapist or a father figure or a mother figure. But I feel like this person's going to somebody for advice in regards to their relationship with you and what they should do is kind of what I'm getting. And again, they could very well be confiding in a therapist. That's a possibility. If not, this could represent um, a family member of theirs. Whoever this person is, though... Whoever this person is that they're gravitating towards, I feel like it's somebody who's either married or already in a relationship with someone is kind of what I'm getting. The bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, judgment card and then we also have the seven of cups. Now, in regards to what this person's basically telling them to do, okay, I feel like this person's telling them to not give up on you and what they basically want here with you, which... I feel like the only reason why they're more than likely telling them all of this is because this person can see how much this person really does want to work things out here with you. So they're basically telling them like, hey, just, you know, don't give up, keep trying. But I feel like this masculine energy feels really discouraged because it kind of looks like they have been trying, but it kind of looks like they haven't really been getting anywhere with you. You know what I mean? Um, so it's causing them to feel like, well, there's nothing that I can really say or do at this point. Like, Sag just won't budge. They just won't talk to me. And what, like, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Like, I've tried everything, right? Um, but I feel like this person's telling them, just, just keep trying. Just keep trying. Just keep trying. I mean, they could keep trying. Maybe eventually you will come around. That's a possibility. That's definitely a possibility, Saji. Um, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. But I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. Just based off of your energy, I just don't see you um, revisiting this connection here um, between you and this person as of right now. Um, I don't see that happening. So it kind of looks like um, more than likely they're gonna keep trying. Um, they're just going to keep trying. What's the outcome ultimately between these two? 
Okay, in regards to the outcome here between you and this person, again, I don't really see a reconciliation happening here, mainly because that's not what you want. For some of you, it kind of looks like you're going to start talking to someone new slash dating someone new. Um, this person more than likely is going to live at a distance from you. For some of you, you could very well be meeting this person online. I feel like this connection is going to bring a lot of happiness and a lot of joy into your life. Um, it just kind of looks like revisiting this connection in, from your past, I'm sorry, is just not even an option in your mind. So it kind of looks so you're taking the necessary steps towards moving forward and moving on with your life, dating new people, seeing new people. Like I said, this person that you are going to find yourself connecting with, it could be somebody that you're meeting online, but they come off to me as somebody that uh, lives at a distance from you. The fact that we have the Knight of Swords and the Chariot, that's kind of telling me that things are going to move very, very quickly here between you and this person. So it kind of looks like they're going to rush things here with you, but you're going to also rush things here with them is kind of what I'm getting. All right. So that's what I have for you, Saji. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Leo. Someone rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Leo, let's see how this person is currently feeling about you. How does this person currently feel about Leo, Sun rising and Venus? priestess we have the ace of swords okay we also have the uh knight of wands to the moon with the page of wands to the knight of swords we also have the queen of wands to the uh eight of wands there's somebody here leo that you make very very nervous okay now this someone could be a family member this someone can be a friend uh possibly even a romantic interest but there's somebody here um that I want to say you make very, very nervous and very, very anxious. But I feel like it has a lot to do with your ability to be able to read people and see through people. I also feel like you're somebody who's very, very, very intuitive. And I kind of feel like that tends to kind of scare somebody uh, in your environment, whether it, whether it be a family member, friend, you know, romantic interest. Um, you know what's interesting is that there's someone in particular okay, that I'm picking up on, um, that has a lot to hide is kind of what I'm getting. That has a lot to hide. That has a lot to hide. Yeah, that has a lot to hide. And I kind of feel like because you have the ability to see right through them and, and pick up on things, um, it kind of freaks them out. It kind of scares them. And it's because they don't want you to kind of catch on to them and whatever it is that they're hiding from you. Because this person kind of comes off to me as somebody who basically feels like they have a lot to hide, but also a lot to lose. Yeah, a lot to hide and a lot to lose. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands to the Moon. We have the star, we also have the ace of swords, to the ten of wands, to the uh, king of swords, and then we also have the uh, eight of swords. I feel like there's a lot that this person um, tends to keep to themselves. I also kind of feel like, again, there's a lot that this person um, has to hide. It's interesting because I don't feel like they want to hide. I don't feel like they want to hide and, and keep, you know, whatever it is that they're keeping from you uh, to themselves is kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like they don't want to have to live life constantly keeping things uh, from you or hiding things from you or at least trying to hide things from you. I'll say that trying to hide things from you. It's like this person wishes that they could be open and honest and transparent with you. Um, but they, they kind of feel like they can't, but it's, it's mainly kind of stemming from a place of them fearing your response and your reaction towards the truth. It's as if this person, and I'm not saying that this is true. I just want to make that clear. Um, I'm not saying that this is true, uh, Leo, but it's like this person looks at you as somebody who can't handle the truth somebody who can't handle the truth so they kind of feel like they have to kind of lie to you and keep a lot of things from you again they don't want to hide or keep things from you but they kind of feel like they have to and i keep getting that it's because they feel like they have a lot to lose they have a lot to lose 
and it could very well be them losing their relationship with you you know what i mean but they want to be honest they want to be open with you but they just they feel like they can't what is the person hiding tell me more about the moon Whatever it is that they're keeping from you, uh, they kind of, they kind of feel like it would ruin their their relationship with you somehow, some way, and that's not something that they want to lose. That is not something that they want to lose. Yeah, we get that, but like, what are they hiding? Let's 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 not beat around the bush, Tarot. Ain't nobody got time for this. Leo got things to do. Okay, let's just get straight to the point here. Let's let's look at the um. Hmm. Let's look at the Nine of Wands. Okay. So, we have the Knight of Swords. We got the Six of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Ten of Cups. Yeah. See, here's here's where I start to get annoyed with Tarot because I feel like Tarot's just kind of beating around the bush here. I feel like it's more so like talking about how much they love you and how much they care about you, and how much they don't want to lose you, and how much they feel like they have to keep certain things from you because they don't want to jeopardize what they currently have here with you. I get that. We all get that at this point. Let me ask this. Let me just ask. What is this person hiding from Leo? What is this person hiding from Leo? We're going to look at this Queen of Cups in a minute, but we have the Page of Cups. We have the uh, Seven of Cups. We got the Page of Pentacles. We got the Three of Swords. You know, it's interesting because um, it keeps showing up that this person kind of feels like if they were to be open and honest and transparent with you, that it will cause this relationship between you and them to end. So whatever it is that they're keeping from you, obviously, it's nothing pretty, right? Um, I do want to look at this Queen of Cups just to kind of see what else I can get here. There's something about them thinking that they thought they wanted something, but they're kind of realizing, oh, wait a minute, I don't actually want that anymore, especially because this is how these two, these these cards came out together. This is how these cards came out together, and then I saw the, the Page of Pentacles right after. It, it's, it's like an energy of thinking that I want that, but then realizing, oh, wait a minute, I don't actually want that anymore. So th there's a, and we're going to confirm this, but there is a possibility that this person could have been entertaining you and somebody else at the same exact time, and they could have thought, you know, at some point in time that they wanted to be with this Queen of Cups, but then they kind of realize, oh, wait a minute, I don't want that anymore. I actually want Leo. Um... Let me take this back just in case. Um, but let's look at this, this Queen of Cups. Something happened here between these two. Something happened here between this Queen of Cups and this Mask of Energy. Because they go from, yeah, 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 that's what I want, that's what I want, to like, uh, never mind. I, I changed my mind. I don't actually want that anymore. Let me go try to fix things with Leo. Let me go try to fix things here with Leo. With the Three of Pentacles, that's kind of telling me that, um... There is a huge possibility that there could have definitely been a third party situation at play. I don't feel like it's one of those situations where, I don't know, like, you know, you guys broke up for a perfect example and then they started talking to somebody else while they were single. No, it doesn't feel that way. Uh, it kind of feels like, you know, they were probably talking to you and talking to somebody else trying to figure out where they basically want to be is kind of what I'm getting. Something happened, though, between these two because they go from, yeah, 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 this is what I want, this is what I want, to like, oh, sh nope, yep, nope, never mind, I'm good on that. I don't want this actually anymore. <sighs> Time out about the High Priestess. See, here, here's my thing uh, with you. Um... Leo, because you are somebody who's very, very intuitive, right? 
you're going to get downloads when it comes down to exactly what this person's hiding from you. You're going to get downloads, okay? Your spirit team is going to tell you exactly what this person's hiding from you. It's a matter of you trusting it, though, and believing it. That's really what it all kind of boils down to. And I say this a lot, and it's it's a message that I'm very determined to get to, you know, get across to everybody out there. Um, I, I really don't think that we as people should continue to ignore our intuition. That is the one thing that will never deceive us. Our heart will deceive us. Our mind will deceive us. But one thing that will never deceive us is our intuition. So you can sit up here and, and, and get this down low that, oh, like, I feel like this person's cheating on me. I feel like this person talking to such and such behind my back. If you genuinely feel that way on an intuitive level, chances are that's exactly what's happening. I don't care if this person makes you think that you're crazy and you're losing your mind. That's exactly what's happening. And that's the thing is that I feel like a lot of people tend to like ignore their intuition because every time they speak on, you know, what they're picking up on intuitively speaking, there's always somebody somewhere that's very quick to be like, nah, you crazy. Like, nah, that's not what's going on. And nah, like you're bugging and you know, you're just overthinking things. No, I don't feel like that's the case. And I kind of feel like, um, I kind of feel like, of course, you know, like for a perfect example, this person, if you were to tell them, listen, I just, I just have this feeling that you're cheating on me, whatever, right? Like, obviously, it doesn't benefit them to sit here and be like, you know what, you're right, Leo, you are spot on. And I tell you, you're just the most intuitive person I've ever met. Like, no, they're not going to sit here and tell you that because it doesn't benefit them to agree with you on that because they stand to lose you in the process. So no. And that's what people do. People will shy away from the truth, especially when, when they stand to lose something in the process of it all, something that they don't want to lose. And we've already gotten that from for this person time and time and time again, that they clearly don't want to lose you. So no, they're not going to sit here and be like, yo, you're right. You got me, you know, no, like this is that type of person. And they kind of strike me as this type of person, but this is not that type of person that's going to be upfront and honest uh, with you unless you have the concrete evidence to back it up. If you don't have the concrete evidence to back it up, you're crazy in their eyes. But in reality, you're not crazy. You know what I mean? Because I was kind of getting that. It's like there's somebody around you that you make very, uh, very nervous and very scared but it has a lot to do with your gifts it has a lot to do with your abilities um and that really does scare them it really does scare them why would it scare them if they don't have anything to hide you know what i mean um i i just i just kind of feel like um, and again, I think we should all kind of do this, but you know, I think that when it comes down to this situation or any situation that you find yourself in, when you get an intuitive hit that nah, something's not right, trust it. Fuck having the concrete evidence at this point. You know what I mean? Trust it. Just trust it. And I'm telling you, once you learn to rely on your intuition and trust your intuition, your life will be great. It will be peachy. Okay. It will be peachy. Um, but I feel like that's something that we all need to just kind of do already. You know what I mean? Now, I want to see what's going to end up happening here between you and this person. What's, what's going to happen here between Leo and this human? Okay. Come here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We got the Justice card. We also have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. And then we also have the uh, Two of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Death card to the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> so in regards to what's going to end up happening here between you and this person, I, I do... Um, I do see, you know, the two of you eventually parting ways here with one another. I do, but it kind of looks like what you're more than likely doing is kind of going down that route of, but I just need to prove it. I just need to prove it. I need to prove it to myself. So that way, when this relationship does come to an end, I, I know what to tell everybody around me, like my family and my friends, like what really happened. Because I don't want to tell them I just got this intuitive hit that they were doing such and such um, or something, whatever. Um, and I didn't even bother to investigate or find out. Okay, all right, let's roll with it. Let's look at the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> all 
All right. So we have the Eight of Wands. We got the Seven of Cups. A lot of you might find out uh, that this person was uh, keeping their options open. Um, a lot of you might find out, yeah, that this person was keeping their options open. There's something about them still having like a like a like a like a dating profile. I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I just got something about like a dating site, or I don't know when it comes down to that stuff. But you know, like a dating profile, dating site, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, I'm so old-fashioned. You won't have to bump into me to get my freaking attention. Any who's. Um, but they might, you might discover that this person it has like a like a dating account or something. And, and they're talking to like multiple people on it, flirting with multiple people on it. Um as if as if they're single. As if they're single is kind of what I'm getting. There's a possibility that this person could have some type of addiction because I'm also kind of getting that. I feel like this person's addicted to, you know, that constant need for attention. I'm definitely getting that. I'm definitely getting that. This person kind of comes off to me as somebody who, how do I say this? How do I explain this? Because, like, people cheat for different reasons, right? Um... There's a possibility that this person could very well be doing all of this um, because, you know, they, they they love, like, the whole thrill of, like, um, of, like, getting caught. They love, like, the excitement behind it all. Like, they kind of come off to me as, like, a little bit of a adrenaline junkie is kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. In other words, they're not doing all of this with the intent of... Let me go run off into the sunset with this one over here. They're they're doing it because it brings that sense of excitement to their life. Um, they like the 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 um, adrenaline adrenaline rush. I can never freaking say that word. Sometimes the the adrenaline rush that it gives them is kind of what I'm getting. And you might find all of this out. Anyways, I, I kind of see you feeling the need that no, like I have to I have to like pin this person to some type of crime before I get up and leave because I don't want to seem like I'm crazy, right? You know, moving forward, uh, I kind of feel like you're not going to question your intuition anymore, okay? A lot of you could have already experienced this, but moving forward, you're not going to question your intuition anymore. When you get an intuitive hit that now, like something doesn't feel right about this person, you ain't even going to bother, honey, with doing this full-blown investigation here, you know? And I get it. Sometimes people just need that validation, that confirmation, and I understand that. Um, but moving forward, I just don't see you operating from that place anymore. I don't see you feeling the need that you have to do like a full-blown investigation to, you know, justify how you feel on an intuitive level. No, like the moment somebody rubs you the wrong way, they just rub you the wrong way. And you're not even going to try to bother to figure out why that person rubs you the wrong way. I also kind of feel like in your... Um, near future after you remove yourself from this entire situation if you haven't already leo uh you're gonna be hyper focused on your money your career your growth your expansion i see you finally getting that promotion you've always wanted or that raise you've always wanted um i just kind of feel like your money is going to be looking really freaking good in the near future really freaking good a lot of things are going to start to play out in your favor uh financially speaking is kind of what i'm getting yeah, financially speaking, I feel like your your entire situation is definitely going to uh, improve in that department. Especially for those of you who are self-employed, I do see your money increasing, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what I have for you. Like I said, I feel like this person, you know, it's like they want to be open and honest with you about like this other human here but it's like they kind of feel like they can't because they 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 they, they just they like i said it's just like they got too much to lose and it doesn't benefit them it just in this in this situation it does not benefit them to be honest with you so you could sit here and be like well i just feel like you know you're just up to no good and i just feel this i just feel that and they're just gonna they're gonna sit there unfortunately and make it seem like well you're crazy and you're just overreacting and it's just that time of the month honey and it's like no it's not that maybe it is that time of the month that's a possibility but jesus like no it's you're just somebody who has abilities you're just somebody who has um an amazing gift just use it and trust it you know what i mean um even if this person makes you you know seem like you're you're crazy or whatever the case may be you're not crazy all right so that's what i have for you hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye 
Hello Aries, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Aries, today we're going to see how this person is currently feeling about you. How does this person currently feel about Aries, Sun Rising and Venus? How does this person currently feel about Aries, Sun Rising and Venus? All right, Aries. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles, we also have the Knight of Swords, interesting, and then we also have the King of Swords. Mm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Wands, so the Seven of Swords to the King of Wands. So in regards to how this person's currently feeling about you, one thing that I will say about this person, Aries, that you currently find yourself connecting with is that this is somebody who does have a very strong and intense sexual desire for you. With the Seven of Swords paired to the King of Wands to the Ace of Wands, that, that's kind of telling me... Um, that right now what this person is looking for is like a friends with benefits sort of situation nothing more and nothing less it doesn't look like right now settling down is something that this person wants to do is kind of what i'm getting here off of this person's overall energy now this is what you need to kind of be aware of though when it comes down to this person as far as like you know what they're trying to establish here with you as concern um which kind of leans more towards a friends with benefits sort of situation. But you know what's interesting is that I kind of see this person throughout the course of their relationship with you sending a bunch of mixed signals in your direction. Like in other words, there's going to be days where this person's going to make you feel like they want something more serious with you. And then there's going to be days where this person doesn't even want to like uh, bother with taking things a step further here with you. Um, so a lot of mixed signals you're going to find yourself experiencing here from this person that's showing up here for you. It could even be somebody fairly new. Yeah, it could even be somebody fairly new here that's showing up here for you that strictly wants like a friends with benefits sort of situation, nothing more and nothing less. But I keep getting that. I feel like this person is going to find themselves sending a boatload of mixed signals in your direction is kind of what I'm getting. One minute they're going to make it seem like they want something serious with you. The next minute they're going to make it seem like, no, like I'm not ready for all of that. Um, this person just kind of comes off to me as somebody who is very unpredictable, especially with the Knight of Swords to the King of Swords, a very unpredictable energy. It's like, it's like they're a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get from this person. Um, I do want to clarify the King of Wands a little bit more. I'm over the King of Wands. <clears throat> so I'm over the King of Wands. All right. So we have the Moon. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and then we also have the High Priestess. I also kind of feel like this person is going to be very secretive. Very, very secretive with you. It's like this person's not going to uh, find themselves uh, feeling comfortable enough to, to let you in fully is kind of what I'm getting. Because I'm getting uh, them being very secretive with you throughout the course of their involvement with you. Yeah, very, very secretive with you. Like, in other words, I'm kind of getting like, a, like an energy of them choosing to kind of keep i don't know uh where they live a secret from you or where they work a big secret from you or what they do uh for a living a big secret from you like this person comes off to me as somebody who's going to be very secretive with you very very secretive with you uh tell me more about this ace of wands energy tell me more about this ace of wands energy We have the okay. We have the nine of cups. We got the five of swords, and then we also have the uh, six of swords. So the six of swords to the five of swords that creates the ace of swords at play, which basically represents the sword of truth. It also represents clarity. I'll be honest. I kind of feel like this person is trying to like search for what's going to truly make them happy at the end of the day. Is being in a relationship going to truly make this person happy or, you know, living, you know, the single life and living the vida loca going to make them happy? You know, it's like this person's 
trying to kind of search for what's truly going to make them happy at the end of the day okay so right now this person's at that stage in their life where they don't really know what's going to truly bring that sense of happiness and that sense of joy into their life they don't know if it's going to be like a friends with benefits sort of situation or if it's going to be a full-blown committed relationship like right now they just don't truly know what they truly want and desire for themselves as of right now um so with that being said it just kind of looks like they're just kind of testing the waters if you will they're trying to see what's going to really like bring that sense of happiness and joy into their life is it going to be a surface level relationship or is it going to be um a connection that's full of meaning and purpose in their life like what's really going to bring you know that sense of happiness and joy into their life and it kind of looks like currently at the moment they're really trying to figure it out you know there's some people and there's nothing wrong with these people by the way but there's some people out there that are very happy and content with having surface you know level relationships with people they're very happy and content with having friends with benefits sort of situations you know they're very happy uh, with that type of you know lifestyle and nothing wrong with that you know there's nothing wrong with that but I feel like that's what they're trying to figure out right now is is that what's gonna make me happy or is a more meaningful connection gonna make me happy so right now this person is just kind of searching for what's gonna bring that sense of happiness and joy into their life just just be aware, just be aware that I do see this person sending you mixed signals, Aries. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we got the Page of Wands, okay? We also have the King of Swords with the Magician, and then we all see, I knew it. We have the Six of Cups to the Justice card, and then we have the Sun to the Two of Pentacles. To the two of cups to the uh, four ones to the ace of cups yeah they're gonna send you mixed signals they're definitely gonna send you mixed signals there's gonna come a point in time where this person's gonna make it seem like you know they really do want to manifest and create you know life with you into fruition you know they can see themselves you know being in a relationship with you you know things of that nature but just like I said, just be aware that right now they're at the stage in their life where they're trying to figure out what's going to make me happy. Is it going to be a relationship with someone or is it just going to be is it just going to be me having surface level relationships with people? What's going to really bring that sense of happiness and that sense of joy uh, into my life? That's what they're trying to figure out. Aries, we're going to pull some advice to see what you should do about this person, but just know they're going to send you mixed signals. Just 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 know that, okay? Any advice for Aries in regards to this spread? <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Okay. Aries. Let, let's talk. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. Uh, not the Nine of Wands. We got the uh, Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands to the King of Pentacles. So... When you do meet this person, if you haven't already, they're more than likely going to communicate to you like, hey, listen, I'm not looking for anything serious. I just want to focus on my money right now. Nothing wrong with that. I see you possibly going along with it. Like, oh, yeah, like me too. Like, I'm not looking for anything serious either. Like, I just want to focus on my money right now. Like, I see you going along with it, right? Again, nothing wrong with that. It's your life. You do what you want with it, right? But, um... This is interesting because this is like a very contradicting energy. We see you going from, you know, yeah, like I just want to focus on my money to like, I'm not looking for anything serious, like cool, you know? Um, this is a very, like I said, a contradicting energy coming from you because it's like the more you involve yourself with this person, the more you start to kind of feel like, wait a minute, like where is this going? Like I feel like I'm wasting my time with this person, like what do you call this thing that we got going on here like this is not what i want this is not what's gonna make me happy um so your overall advice aries before you get involved with this person is to know what you truly want and know what's going to bring that sense of happiness and joy into your life is it honestly gonna be a relationship or is it not gonna be a relationship spirit wants you to get very crystal clear on what you truly want and stand on that um but for those of you who are currently involved uh, with this person, 
spirit still wants you to figure out like what's going to truly make you happy at the end of the day because like i said friends with benefits sort of situations like sometimes it you know it works out for people sometimes people really do enjoy those type of dynamics far more than they do being in a full-blown committed relationship with a human you know what i mean and some people like being in a full-blown committed relationship with a person or just having like a friends with benefits sort of situation going on so everybody's different you know what I mean um, so that's why spirit wants you to really take the time out to really figure out like what's really gonna make you happy and then just stand on it if it's having like a friends with benefits sort of situation then screw it so be it you know what I mean or if it's being in a full-blown committed relationship with a person if that's what's gonna really make you happy then so be it you know what I mean um, but this is kind of telling me this is kind of telling me that deep down inside you want what you want, right? Is somebody that you can build with, somebody that you can rely on, somebody that you can depend on, somebody that you can trust, somebody who's going to be committed and devoted to you. That's what you want. That's the impression you're giving me anyways. That's what you want. I just don't feel like you found it just yet. And I'm gonna be very blunt honest with you because I don't wanna sugarcoat anything or mislead anybody here. This one right here, no, I don't think so. This one over here, I, no, this is a no-go. This is a no-go. I'm going to be honest. This is a no-go. This is a no-go. This is this is somebody who's still trying to figure out, like, what's going to make them happy. And listen, ain't nothing wrong with that, right? But I just don't... I just don't feel like they fit what you're looking for. I mean, this person showed up as a king of wands slash king of swords. What you truly want and desire is a king of pentacles. King of swords, king of wands. Um... That energy alone can be very unpredictable. Um, look at them like they're a box of chocolates, like I said. It's like you never know what you're going to get from them. King of Pentacles is somebody who's more reliable, more dependable, um, somebody that's predictable, you know, things like that. Like, that's what you truly want to desire for yourself. I just don't feel like you're, I'm going to be real, I just don't feel like you're going to get that. Not from this one over here. This is, I'm going to say that this is like a no-go, Aries, for sure. Um, this is like a no-go. Yeah, for sure. This is like a no-go. I, I hate to say it, but I feel like this is definitely a no-go, Aries. I don't, I don't feel like this is going to work out here um, because they don't fit what you're looking for. Um, and I think that that's something that you're going to discover on your own anyways. Um, but they just don't fit it. And that's the thing is that it's not going to take you too long to realize like, okay, no. Like they lack this, that, and the third. They're too unpredictable. They're too wishy-washy. Um, can't really rely on them. You know, like you're going to realize this uh, very, very quickly. Um, which is a good sign because you're not going to find yourself, you know, spending years on end trying to figure all this out. Like you're going to realize this very, very quickly. It's just a matter of um you not continuing to invest your time towards somebody who clearly doesn't have what you want you know what i mean like i'd rather you be you know taking that time to i don't know focus on yourself or focus on somebody who actually has what you truly want so that way you're not sitting up here wasting your time you know what i mean um but i'm gonna say that this is like a, a no-go i would say this one right here yeah no this is a no-go because even though i see them falling into this energy of like oh my god like i can see myself being with you aries like when it's time for them to actually face the music and, and get this ball rolling here between the two of you, um, I see them struggling with doing so. And that's why I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a no-go. This is going to have to be a no-go, Aries. This is going to have to be a no-go. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to mislead you or anything like that and say, oh, well, you know, there's a possibility here. If, if the possibility was definitely there, I would have just told you because um, I am very blunt on this. But I just, no, they, they just don't. They just don't fit what you're looking for. You know what I mean? So, and there's that Aries. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.